Thus we end chapter 5 with the Eight of Swords. Lost and alone, blindfolded, trapped in a prison of swords. The Eight of Swords symbolizes confusion and powerlessness. There seems to be nowhere to go. If there is a means of escape, it's not obvious. Where are you now? I have no idea. There are a couple windows. Looks like it's somewhere in the desert, and really high up. Does this place give any specific feelings or images? <sighs> Black. Night. High. And bad. Definitely bad. So we are in creepy place now. It isn't nearly as creepy as a hotel room. Oh well, anyway. Let's go, what do we got here? <clears throat> Good grief. Let's see, we got wedding night. And then, ooh, a nightclub. Oh, let's see, nightshade. Ooh, here's a spot for a night spot. There's a stick for a night stick. This place, I remember the name. The first time I heard it was when I called the numbers Merriman and I had gotten at the motel. Hello, thank you for calling the Minaret, Las Vegas premier luxury business and residential property. Please press star to hear a list of available. Essex County Mental Health Facility. How may I direct you? So the numbers we got on the one puzzle not that long ago turned out to be to this place. Huh. Well, since bad is here, we've got bad news. Let's see. Ooh, a bad check. And nuns wear habits, so we get a bad habit. And then we got a bad knee, right? Bad things have happened in this place. Evil. And I think I know who's the source of it all. Tell me, Celeste. Who were you trying to contact? I know it wasn't Devon. Even if he's forgiven you, he doesn't have the gift. Gira, maybe. Is she still among the living? Hiding like a rat for all these years? I will find out, Celeste. Not that it matters, we both know there's no one left who can oppose me. Hmm. That must have been Adrian talking to Celeste. Hmm. That's not a really happy thing, is it? Threatening her like that. Oh well. Twelve o'clock is noon for, you know, twelve o'clock high. Let's see what else. Ooh, we can take the high road. get a high ball. Ooh, a high five. Yeah, that works. And that is a profile. This memory, I think it's connected somehow to the dream I had on the boat. Maybe it was happening at the same time. You had to know this time would come. I'm sure this is a terrible disappointment. On the other hand, you've had 30 years to act and chose to do nothing. I am grateful for everything you've done. You've meant the world to me. And it doesn't have to end, but it does have to change. I won't do it. I don't want to hurt you. I wish you would never been born. Choose your car. Well, 
then from now on, I make all the choices. As you taught me, there are no coincidences in terror. <laughs> Turns out that Adrian Crawford murdered Celeste. Huh. Well, let's see, what do we got? Well, here's some mail for black mail, black magic, Emily black hand, nah. Let's see, what else we got that would go with black? Ooh, jet black. Black ice. A black rose. No, no black rose. But a black book. Ooh, here's a black board. Ooh, that triggered it, huh? Let's see. And black coffee. What am I missing? Oh, the black box. Whatever this place is, it has a strong connection to that voice I keep hearing. Satara, please. Tower. You know how to find it, Satara. Hurry, there's not much time. Even though Jess has no recollection of ever actually being in the minaret, she is able to visualize it through one of the tarot cards. As she unlocks the memories connected to this evil place, one of the objects she discovers is a Ouija board. Some people claim that spirit boards like this can be used for communication. Is someone using this one to send a message to Jess? The Ouija board in the minaret was identical to the one in Dr. Giordano's office. That first message I decoded had been meant for someone else. This time, whatever the message was, it was meant for me. Indeed. Well, so we know Adrian Crawford murdered Celeste, and yet there's a second person there calling out to Jess for help. Huh, it looks like we may have to, looks like she may have to travel out there. But first, once again we get another version of Hangman here, and fortunately two more E's, huh? Well, this first word is escape. Do, 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 do. Escape. Then we have the word two. Three more T's, huh? Two. Safety. find the W there with the the next one is the and then Puritan that's a new phrase for this game well kind of 
I mean, we had the Puritans that were calling something an abomination at one point. But they never said Puritan, I don't think. And we have War. What did this mean? Was it a threat or an offer of help? The Puritan, it turned out, was an old refinery building, just a few miles from where my parents were last seen at the Golden Horse Inn. Hmm. Escape to safety with the Puritan, or all will die. So it was a message? What did it say? It told me where to meet someone. Did you go? I think I did. I still had hope that they were somehow still alive. Thing is, they said they were going to meet with Devon Tellus. What about the other man? The one who was following your parents after they met Merriman? I don't even want to think about that. And now that you mention Merriman, why did he lie to me about how he met my parents? I just can't believe he lied to me all along. I'm so tired of being lied to. Well, chin up. You're about to get all the answers you could ever want. We're almost at the end of the game, after all. But, the Wheel of Fortune represents a unique and powerful ability passed down to Jess through her birth mother, Celeste. This is what enabled Jess to contact her parents at the motel, as well as see visions of the past, the distant, and maybe even the future. The Eight of Swords represents the minaret, Adrian Crawford's tower. This is where Celeste went when she left Essex and her former life behind. But is this place a refuge or a prison? For Jess, the Eight of Cups signifies her realization that she must face a dangerous and uncertain future on her own without the help of Daniel, her parents, or Merriman. And thus, with more answers and more questions, once again, we end Chapter 5. Next time, we begin Chapter 6. But until then, take care, folks. See you later.